Samsung shares have just jumped a pretty significant 7% after signing an historic deal with Tesla worth 16.5 billion US dollars. Why exactly is Tesla going to pay Samsung 16.5 billion US dollars? Well, I think it's um really a big deal this news. I think this is big for Samsung, it's big for Tesla, and it's important for shareholders as well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Tesla, Elon Musk said the automaker has, has signed a $16.5 billion US deal to source chips from Samsung Electronics. This move is obviously going to help Samsung. In the short term, their stock price has reacted positively. It's up 6.8% to their highest price since September of last year after news of this deal. Tesla stock is hasn't really changed. It's up 1% in pre-market trading. So what is this new chip? Well, this is Tesla's next generation A16 chip. And it's apparently the project has faced long delays after Samsung's difficulties in retaining and attracting major clients. So Samsung has had some issues with this for some reason. Here's what they said. First of all, I'll, I'll tell you in just a moment what this chip's actually for. Samsung agreed to allow Tesla to assist in maximizing manufacturing efficiency. Tesla actually in the process helping Samsung make this chip. This is a critical point as I will walk the line personally to accelerate the pace of progress, said Elon Musk, and the fab is conveniently located not far from my house. Now, this is a bit of a, an interesting post from Musk. The 16.5 billion US dollar number is just the bare minimum. Actual output is likely to be several times higher. So if it's several times higher, then that's at least 33 billion US dollars, so at least double, right? Several times could be, I don't know, triple, even quadruple. That would, that'd be looking at more than 100 billion US dollars. I don't know if it's going to be that big, but it's going to be big. According to a senior analyst at NH Investment and Securities, Ryu Yung Ho, Samsung's Taylor Fab so far had virtually no customers, so this order is groundbreaking for them. So in October, Reuters actually reported that Samsung had postponed taking deliveries of chip making equipment for its Texas factory, the one near where Elon Musk actually lives, as it had not yet won any major customers for the project, it has already delayed the plant's operational start to 2026. Essentially, it's only opening this plant because of Tesla. All this plant will be doing is making chips for Tesla's new cars. So these chips are for Tesla's new full self-driving. They'll be better than Tesla's existing full self-driving chips. And while no timeline has actually been provided yet for the A16 chip production, Musk has said, the next generation A15 chips will be produced at the end of 2026. So these chips might not be around until 2027 or even potentially 2028. So where is Tesla currently? Well, Tesla is currently on its A14 chip, right? That's the, the hardware for chip that you can utilize now or what comes in Tesla's existing cars today. But these chips are going to be hardware six. This is two generations into the future. So Tesla's already made this massive deal. Obviously, they're having to pony up some of the money now. Otherwise, Samsung wouldn't be confident that you know this is all going to go ahead. So a big investment from Tesla. Samsung, though, like I said, they currently make Tesla's hardware for A14 chips, and they power Tesla's full self-driving. What, 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 what actually is the brains and the power behind Tesla's ability to get its full self-driving to work? TSMC is slated to make the A15 chip, though, initially in Taiwan, and then in Arizona, Musk said. So TSMC, the Taiwanese company, they'll make the new A15 chip. Then Samsung, strangely, will make the A16 chip, which seems quite um, confusing. Samsung are actually the world's top memory chip maker, but they'll also produce logic chips designed by customers through their foundry business. So this chip was actually designed by Tesla themselves. And the Texas project is central to Samsung's chairman J.Y. Lee's strategy to expand beyond its bread and butter memory chips into contract chip manufacturing. It holds just 8% of the global foundry market, far behind industry leader TSMC, which has a 67% share, said Trendforce data. 
Now, Samsung further announced the $16.5 billion chip supply deal without saying who the client was, but we all assumed it was probably Tesla. They said the customer had requested confidentiality about the details of the deal, which will run through the end of 2033. Three sources that were briefed about the matter told Reuters that Tesla was the customer. So, I mean, Tesla, it appears, wanted to keep it quiet, but um, that didn't work. It's not clear, though, whether the Samsung-Tesla deal is related to ongoing trade talks between South Korea and the United States. Seoul is seeking U.S. partnerships in chips and shipbuilding amid its last-ditch efforts to reach a trade deal to eliminate or reduce 25% U.S. tariffs, which would be really, really tough for South Korea's actual GDP. It would it'll make a huge, it'll, it's going to make a huge effect on them. So it's quite remarkable to see Tesla planning two generations ahead from going from hardware for its planning for its hardware six chips. Now, I'm going to guess Tesla hasn't actually worked out what these hardware six chips will be. I mean, we're talking a fair few years into the future here. Now, to confirm, as I said again, Samsung manufactures Tesla's existing hardware four chip. TSMC in Taiwan and then later in Arizona will make hardware five. Then we're back to Samsung for hardware six. So I don't know if that's going to cause any uh, issues or um, strange glitches or anything. I mean, maybe, maybe it might, maybe it'd be totally fine, but it does seem unusual for that to happen. I should point out though, Tesla does still need a solution for hardware three. Hardware three, of course, Tesla have sold full self-driving to, you know, I think hundreds of thousands of customers with hardware three, their older models saying that would have full self-driving, you've paid for it, that's what you're going to get. But of course, Tesla's full, full self-driving is not really going to properly 100% work correctly with hardware three. So they still need to find a solution for that challenge. I'm sure Tesla are working on that. But that's going to be a, a bit of a challenge for the company into the future. Now, I should mention, Hardware 4, in my opinion, is incredibly capable of full self-driving. It's doing a great job. Can it be better? Absolutely. By the time we get to Hardware 6 in, say, 2027, it's going to be quite remarkable what these chips can do. If you look at the, the chip computing speed, though, Tesla's current computing power for the chips in Hardware 4, it's good, but it's not amazing. For example, Xpeng or Xiaopeng, their new Turing chip is actually three times faster. But keep in mind, it's not outright computing, computing speed. That's a factor. It's definitely helpful. There's a lot more, though, that goes into actually getting full self-driving to work. And I think the neural net is the training data. Uh, basically, the software, the brains, is really the key, the key thing here, the key proprietary uh, tech that Tesla does have, which is unquestionably an advantage compared to other automakers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.